What's up y'all, welcome back to another episode. Today, I'm gonna show you how we trellis our tomatoes in our greenhouse. We're using a double liter system. And I'm also gonna show you how we can adjust it and lower and lean those tomatoes. This is a bit more of an advanced tomato trellising system, but I think you'll find a lot of value in it. Let's jump into it. And so I first wanna show you um, what a double liter system is. So typically with a normal tomato plant, you have one vine that is going up and then it's shooting off limbs and all that kind of stuff off that one vine. But a double leader is basically where you're developing out two main vines off of one stem. So as you can see here and on this tomato, you've got the main vine and then we developed out a sucker off of the main stem and then we created two vines. And this is going to increase productivity. So with this one here, we've got our two main vines and we've got two string trellises that are hung up at the top of the greenhouse on a cable. Now, when we started these, all we did was use a landscape fabric staple, tied it around, and then we just ran a loop over the top of that line up top, okay? Now, the way that we can make this trellis adjustable is when we ran that line over top for each vine, we use one of these clips here, and we tied a slip knot, okay? And what that is gonna allow for is this clip is holding the line in place, but now because this string's getting tight because the vine is climbing up it, we can now lower this with the slip knot, okay? You see how now we're getting more slack and the tomato plants falling down. That's what's called lower and leaning, okay? Now, because if I let go of this, it's just gonna continue to slip and fall. That's why it's called a slip knot. We're going to now tie it with this clip here Sean babe so the inside of that clip right there is actually what will hold those two strings are you in close enough for them to see to where it'll hold those two strings tight okay and now when it continues to climb up and I need to lower it some more I can take this clip off undo it let the slip knot slide up some more and you can just continue that process so here we've got a tomato and we need to wrap it around a little bit more and that's all you want to do and then we're trimming off the suckers okay so that's one of the vines now we're going to come on over here to the second one okay you see there's a big sucker that has developed which when you think about a sucker it's just another limb developing in the armpit of the plant okay and and the tomato plant's going to do that you got one here you got one right there if you don't do that this tomato plant will just go absolutely wild so i'm going to take my pruners and as I go up the vine, each vine, I'm gonna trim off those suckers. See, even on this one I just developed, did here and lowered, there's a sucker trying to develop, okay? So you're gonna get those little suckers, and so that's why you have to stay on top of tomatoes. But same thing here. We're gonna come in here where the clip is, undo it, and we're gonna give it some slack from the slip knot. All I'm doing is pulling that slip knot up, and as you can see, our tomato plant is getting a lot of slack and is beginning to fall down. That may be a little much. So I'm going to come along, do the same thing, put my clip, put my clip on it. And now I can just then continue to wrap the tomato vine around my string here. And again, that's why you need an, the ability to create slack or else this, this line is just going to get super tight. And then the tomato is going to crawl up to the top and you won't really be able to harvest it and prune and all that. So you need the ability to what's called lower and lean. That's why I see all these tomato plants here behind me that I've already gone through the process and they are lowered down. Again, lower and lean method. Now, the other thing that we do is as this plant continues to grow and puts out new leaves, these new leaves on a plant are generally going to do um, the most work in regards to photosynthesis. So we're gonna come along and we and do what's called hard pruning. So everything on the lower side of the vine at the base we're going to trim off and that's why you see all these vines that are pretty barren all the way through here is because we continue to hard prune each week and this is going to help prevent disease promote airflow and again it just cleans up the place so it's not like a wild jungle in here and it just really helps getting through here harvesting all that good stuff so here's an example of one that we ended up not developing two liters on so you can see here, you've just got one tomato vine 
And then we've got our one string trellis that we used our landscape staple with. And then we've just started to run up. And as you can see, it's developing suckers. We're just coming along. We're working our way up, trimming them off. And see, there's another big sucker that's developed right there. And we're just gonna come around, wrap our string around. And now that tomato will continue to work its way up the string shellus. But as you can see, it's getting pretty tight already. And if I don't lower this at all, it's just gonna climb up to the top. So I'm gonna come along again with my little clip, my tomato clip, and I'm just gonna work my slip knot up so that I can then lower this tomato plant down. And now we'll have a little bit better access um, to be able to come along and work with the plant. But that's a single leader right here that I just showed you. One vine, everything else I just showed you a minute ago is a double leader system. The same thing applies, hard prune, work your way up, work your way up the vine, trim the trim the uh, the suckers, and then trim off any old foliage off the plant down at the base, and you'll be good to go. If you found this content helpful, y'all, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Look forward to seeing you on the next one.